Dual Process Theories Dual Process Theories explain how our minds work using two different systems of thinking. These theories suggest that we use both fast, automatic thinking and slower, more deliberate thinking to make decisions, solve problems, and understand the world around us. By breaking down our thought processes into these two systems, dual process theories help explain why we sometimes make quick, intuitive decisions and, at other times, take longer to reason things through. The first system is often called System 1 thinking. This is the fast, automatic, and unconscious way of thinking that happens without us even realizing it. It's the type of thinking we rely on when we're doing something we've done many times before, like driving a car or recognizing a friend's face. This system helps us make quick decisions in everyday situations without using much mental effort. It's based on intuition, gut feelings, and experience. For example, when you see a stop sign, you automatically know to stop without having to think it through. System 1 is incredibly useful because it allows us to act quickly and efficiently in many situations. However, while System 1 thinking can be fast and efficient, it's not always accurate. Because it relies on patterns and shortcuts, it can sometimes lead to mistakes. For example, we might jump to conclusions or rely on stereotypes without realizing it. This system is also more likely to be influenced by emotions and biases, which can lead to poor decisions in certain situations. The second system, known as System 2 thinking, is slower, more deliberate, and conscious. This is the type of thinking we use when we need to focus and carefully reason through a problem. For example, when you're solving a math problem, making a big decision, or learning something new, you use System 2. It takes more mental effort and requires us to pay attention to the details. Unlike System 1, which operates automatically, System 2 is engaged when we actively choose to think about something in depth. System 2 thinking helps us analyze complex situations, weigh pros and cons, and make logical, reasoned decisions. While it's slower and more effortful, it's also more accurate because it involves careful thought and consideration. However, because System 2 requires more mental energy, we don't use it all the time, just when we need to. For everyday tasks, we rely on System 1 because it's faster and easier. Dual process theories are useful because they explain why we sometimes make quick, intuitive decisions that feel right, and other times make slower, more thoughtful decisions that are based on careful reasoning. These two systems work together to help us navigate the world, but they don't always produce the same results. For example, in some situations, our fast, intuitive system one thinking might lead us to a good decision, like when we quickly sense danger and react. But in other situations, it might lead us to jump to conclusions or make errors because we didn't take the time to think things through carefully. That's where system two comes in, providing the slower, more reason thinking we need to double-check our initial impressions and make more informed choices. One of the key ideas of dual-process theories is that our brains are wired to conserve mental energy, so we tend to rely on System 1 whenever possible. This is why habits, routines, and instincts are so powerful. They allow us to act quickly and efficiently without having to think through every single step. However, when we encounter something new or complex, we shift into System 2 thinking to give it more attention and effort. For example, if you're walking through your house in the dark, you might rely on your memory of where things are, System 1. But if you hear a strange noise, you might stop and start thinking about what could have caused it, System 2. Dual process theories also help explain why people can make errors in judgment. Sometimes, we rely too much on our fast, 
automatic system one thinking, especially when we're tired, stressed, or under pressure. In these situations, we may make snap judgments or fall back on mental shortcuts that aren't always accurate. On the other hand, using system two thinking all the time would be exhausting and inefficient because it requires so much mental effort. This is why we tend to use it only when necessary. For example, think about how you shop for groceries. When you grab familiar items like bread or milk, you're probably using System 1, relying on habits and past experience to make quick decisions. But if you're trying to choose between two unfamiliar products, you might engage System 2 thinking to compare ingredients, prices, or reviews before making a choice. Researchers in psychology have found that both types of thinking are essential for navigating the world effectively. System 1 helps us handle everyday situations quickly and with little effort, while System 2 is crucial for making well-thought-out decisions when accuracy matters. However, the interplay between these two systems can sometimes lead to cognitive biases, mental shortcuts that can distort our thinking. For example, the availability heuristic is a system one bias where we judge the likelihood of something based on how easily examples come to mind. If you've recently heard about a plane crash, you might overestimate the dangers of flying, even though statistically, it's much safer than driving. Another example of a cognitive bias is confirmation bias where we tend to focus on information that confirms our existing beliefs and ignore information that contradicts them. This is a result of System 1's tendency to rely on familiar patterns and pre-existing knowledge, rather than engaging the more effortful System 2 thinking to critically evaluate new information. Despite these potential pitfalls, Dual process theories offer a helpful framework for understanding human thought and decision making. They highlight the importance of balancing our reliance on fast, intuitive thinking with the need for slower, more deliberate reasoning. In situations where time and accuracy are critical, being aware of the difference between these two systems can help us avoid errors and make better choices. In education, dual process theories are used to understand how students learn and solve problems. Teachers might encourage students to use System 2 thinking when they're working through a difficult math problem or learning a new concept, while also recognizing that with practice, some tasks can shift from System 2 to System 1 thinking as they become more automatic. For example, learning to ride a bike or play an instrument might require intense focus and deliberate effort at first. System 2, but over time, these skills become automatic and can be performed with little conscious thought. System 1. In conclusion, dual process theories of thinking help explain the two different ways our minds operate, fast and automatic versus slow and deliberate. Both types of thinking have their strengths and weaknesses, and we use them in different situations depending on what's required. While fast, intuitive thinking helps us handle everyday tasks efficiently, slower, more analytical thinking is necessary for making careful, reasoned decisions. Understanding how these two systems work together can give us greater insight into our own thought processes and improve our decision-making skills.